You are welcome to Susan Academy. Today we are going to take a look at chemistry and the topic is what? Purity of what? Of what? Substances. Purity of what? Substances. Purity of what? Substances. And with this topic or subtopic, purity of substances, we bring to an end the topic we've been treating since about a um, mixture and separation of words, separation of words, mixtures, using what different separation words techniques. That is, we we'll, we we'll, remember we said that in separating mixtures, we leverage on the words the physical properties of those of the component of the word mixture, because unlike compounds. We are by new substance is formed. In mixture, no new substance is what formed. The components of the mixture, each of them retains its what physical what is its what is what physical what properties. So we now use if it, yeah, we now take advantage of these this, this, the differences in the physical properties to do what separate them. Now well, in a mixture, sub, sub, in a mixture, a substance that is mixed with all that substance is no longer what pure. It is no longer what pure. You see that substance, a substance is pure when it is on its own. There is no other substance combined with, in, 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 that it is combined with. That's when you can say that, that that substance is what pure. Now, having separated components of the, this mixture. How will you how will you determine whether that thing you separated is actually what? Pure. That's why we talk about purity of what? Substances. Now, there are some ways I want to apply some 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 properties or ways you can use to check if a substance is pure. You check the words, check the words, check the words, melting points. Check the words, melting points. Check the words, boiling points. You can use the melting points. You can use the boiling points. You can also use this chromatography to determine if a substance is what? Pure. You can use chromatography to check if a substance is what? Pure. Now, how do we now make use of melting point, boiling point, chromatography? Okay, let us take them one after the other. How we can use them to do what? Is that purity of a what? Of a substance. Now, melting point. Melting point for a pure substance. For a pure substance. For a, a solid. Because you, you, you talk of melting point, you, you talk of what? Solid. For a pure substance. A pure substance melts at a particular what? Temperature. Are you there? And it's constant for a pure substance. Now, but if that substance is not pure, if there's something else mixed with it, what, what will happen? It will bring down the presence of impurity, will bring down the melting point of the substance. Are you aware of it? Presence of impurity will do what? Bring down the what? Melting point of the world. Of a substance. Now let me now explain. There are some part of the world where they experience what their temperature can be as low as even lower than zero degrees Celsius. Three of us. You see, everywhere is, 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 is what is, is what is what frozen snow everywhere. To avoid problem associated with with, 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 with that. They introduce even anti 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 freezers in in their what in the radiator of their cars to avoid problems. Are you there? And also some 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 good lesson of what sprinkling what salt on the roads so that they will introduce impurity. In that, in that what, in that what, 
eyes. Are you there? Do, do, do you know what happened? This impurity will, will do what? Bring down the what? Melting point of what? Of the what? I saw that at very low temperature, it will do what? Melt. So that means if, if it now negates the freezing of those what? Ice. The ice. Do, 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 does it make sense? Does it make sense? Now, so I'm going to say that the presence of impurity, the presence of impurity decreases the temperature at which at, at which a solid does what melts. Does it make sense? But actually, 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 it takes place in a range. This temperature for melting takes place in a range, but no matter what, the range will still be what less than the what melting what point. Am I communicating? Now that means if you if you already or if you already know the melting point of a substance and you want to test whether it's pure, once you want to melt it, it will melt at a temperature range lower than this melting point. You don't need, need anyone to tell you that this substance is no longer what pure, that it has what impurity. Now, let, let me develop boiling point. Presence, presence of impurity in a liquid increases the what? Elevates the what? Boiling point. Presence of impurity elevates the what? Or increases the what? Boiling point. It's actually a range. The range, the, the temperature range at which it boils will, will be higher than the what? Boil, normal boiling point. That means if you have a, a if you have a liquid and you want to and you are boiling it, you already know the boiling point of, of this liquid. And at the boiling point of, point of when the boiling point is reached, like that, some, some like water. You are, you are looking at the water, it's water. Maybe the mixture does, doesn't show. She knows there's something you add in water, you know that something is there. And you are boiling by at 100 degrees Celsius, it's supposed to boil. But the one when it is 100 degrees Celsius, it didn't boil. That means that, that means that what there's impurity in the water in the water. Does, does, does it make sense? What happened now? Alright, alright, please. Let's concentrate. Does it make sense? Now in chromatography. Using this paper chromatography as an example, you remember I told you something. That initially you you placed a something that you you, you are seeing as a mixture. You are not yet sure whether that is a mixture. That means you, you are not yet sure whether it's pure. Once you, you say mixture, it's, it's no longer what? Pure. Are you there? You have a sample. But you don't know whether that sample is pure or impure. In other words, say you, 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 you don't know whether it's a mixture or a pure substance. Now, we place it here. And place it normal. Remember, there's something I didn't mention in our last lecture. Please, in as much as I, I left it open like this, a chromatographic resting is closed. There's a lid here, it's not, it's not open. It's enclosed in a lid, please. Note that one, please. It's enclosed in a what? Lid. Now, when you now dip it in the word solvent, if it start move, if the solvent starts start ascending, watch. If you start ascending, eh? and you notice that this thing didn't separate into different components, that means it's, it's what? Pure. Are you there? But if at the end you see a spot, a center spot, center spot, ah. This thing is not pure. It has about three components inside. But if it's pure, you will not see any other one. Am I communicating? You can only see one spot, meaning that this is the only substance in that sample. So, I mean, I say I can use chromatography to determine the words, purity of the words, substance. Am I communicating? Am I really communicating? Any question? Any question? Any question? All right. In the absence of any question, at this juncture, we have just rounded up the topic. 
mixture, separation of separation of mixtures, separation techniques, and purity of what substance. In our in our next lecture, we we'll move over towards atoms, molecules, and moles. Are we there? So, thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Thank you for watching our online lectures. For lecture updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is Susan Limited. Just click on the red button and click on the bell by the side so that you'll be among the first people to receive notification whenever we upload a new video. Please like and follow us on Facebook. The name is Susan Limited. If you have any question, please connect with us on WhatsApp. These are our WhatsApp numbers. Please visit our website. The address is susanlimited.com. You have a lot to learn. Please share this video, like, and comment. Thank you for your support. God bless you. Admission. 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 Dear ladies and gentlemen, I bring good news. Admission into the diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician EENU Mission Hospital is on. The School of Pharmacy Technician PHT, is an accredited tertiary institution that offers students a diploma degree to work in hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to promote safe and effective use of medicines at grassroots level. Graduates of Pharmacy Technician School EENU who wish to study pharmacy in the university can obtain direct entry into any university of their choice. The school has a well-equipped laboratory, comfortable hostel, and a healthy refectory. The requirements for admission are credit in English, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. In GCE, WAEC, NECO. NABTEB are not more than two sittings. The School of Pharmacy Technician PHT, is located at EENU Mission Hospital, Agidi, Anambra State. For more information, call 0803 708 1512, 0813 868 2003, 0803 267 5322. Diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician. A tradition of excellence.